the man suing Gwyneth Paltrow over a skiing collision seven years ago took the stand today on day five of the civil trial. Fox 13 News reporter Maitha Ligubi joins us live in studio with what Terry Sanderson said on the stand today. Maitha Lee. After listening to witnesses, medical experts, friends, family, and even Gwyneth Paltrow herself, today we got to hear from the man suing her, Terry Sanderson. Sanderson says that it was Paltrow crashing into him that caused at least four broken rib bones and permanent brain damage. Terry, did you cause the ski collision with Ms. Paltrow? Absolutely not. Terry Sanderson is suing actress celebrity Gwyneth Paltrow for crashing into him while skiing in Deer Valley. He took the stand to explain his version of what happened in 2016. This is hard because I, I don't like going through this scene. I, I just remember everything was great and then I heard something I've never heard at a ski resort and that was a blood curdling scream. Just I can't do it. It was and then boom. he says the crash changed his personality and limited his abilities. My interaction with my family has been more difficult, but something's wrong in my essence and what I what I bring to the table with them. Paltrow disagreed with Sanderson's version of what happened that day. She testified on Friday that it was Sanderson who crashed into her. The ski instructor with Paltrow that day, Eric Christensen, also took the stand. The defense presented animations of what the collision would have looked like from Christensen's point of view. He didn't see the exact moment of impact, but went to them when he heard the scream. They were on the slope and she was underneath and he was on top of her. The ski patroller who responded after the collision, Whitney Smith, explained that she saw Sanderson standing and skied to him. She did not receive the report that he had been unconscious. If you're reporting a loss of consciousness, typically you get to leave the resort in an ambulance. That's kind of where that goes. Um, even if you're mentating correctly for me there, if I hear you were out cold on the snow for two minutes, I'm going to call an ambulance. And on her report marked that Sanderson did need corrective lenses, but wasn't wearing any that day. Sanderson was also asked about an email he sent to his daughters after the crash, saying he was famous, and if it was because he crashed into a celebrity. Why did you write, I'm famous? You know, again, my head was scrambled. All I was trying to do is desperately communicate with my kids before they heard from somebody else I got crushed. So um, I didn't pick my words well. Why did you bring this lawsuit? You know, I, I realized after a period of time that no one believed how serious my injuries were. Really wanted an opportunity. I knew there was damages. New evidence was also presented to the jury in court this morning. There was a link that was going around on emails and we didn't know what was on that link. There were speculations if there was GoPro video that would help answer the central question of this case, which is who crashed into whom. It turns out that someone who was watching the trial was able to find the archive of what was on that link and shared it with the defense. It was conversations about skiing that day and Craig Ramon, a witness and friend who was on the stand earlier and came back today, said he saw what happened and that Terry was knocked out after being hit badly. Live in studio, I am Maitri Gubi, Fox 13 News, USA.